Congratulations, beloved Christ, for seeing the last week in the month of October. Today being the last Monday in this month, it is only by the privilege that God has given unto us that we are alive. And this week is a transition week into the month of November. I pray the Lord will grant us the grace to enter into the month of November safely in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is the day we commemorate St. Simon and Jude, the apostles of Jesus Christ. And we reflected about their lives in the service we held this morning. But I want to encourage you also that as these people followed Christ to the end of their life, you also can do the same so that we can all reign with him together. In this new week, I have this admonition for you in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, which says, The blessing of the Lord makes one rich, and it adds no sorrow with it. I want to admonish you from this place that in life, you must rely on God to release his blessing upon you. But that does not mean you will not work. Be diligent in your work, in your business, in your academics, and in everything. But while you are carrying out your daily activities, you must believe that it is only God that can make you prosper and that can bless you. Don't cut corners because it is very, very dangerous. The Bible says in Proverbs 11 verse 1 that dishonest scales are an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight if you can do the will of God in your business. I assure you that God will bless you indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your activities be guarded, be guided with the fear of God in this new week. And the Bible says to us that uh, we must do everything in our integrity. According to Proverbs chapter 20 verse 7, which says, The righteous man walks in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. Don't dip your hand into anything that will incur the wrath of God upon you and your generation. Don't cut corners. Don't connive or join hands together with others to bring anyone down. But rely on God. Do what you are supposed to do. Face your work. Face your duties. And you will see God blessing you. Honor God with your life and with your activities. In this week, I assure you, the Lord will bless you. He will prosper your way. He will grant you breakthrough in every of your endeavor. Don't cut corners. Don't engage in any activity that will bring the wrath of God upon you and your generation. The Lord loves you and he wants to bless you. Therefore, do the will of God and you will prosper. Let us pray. Father, bless your people even as they continue to honor you with their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.